Okay, hey guys, I'm playing uh, now with the Telenite some games on Dueling Network. And um, I have the op option to choose who goes first. I let him go first because it's better to go second with the Telenites in my opinion because the Dinam 7 plus is 1 then. So let's see. I slightly changed my build from Nationals, so I kicked out Pot of Delity and MST main deck and changed it for uh, Upset Goblin. Uh, for free Upset Goblin. Oh, cool, a mirror match. Yes. And um, what is the second, my uh, third main crush? So he stats pretty good uh, with a Denap. You always want to have a uh, party Denap because with uh, if you no Denap, no party. He shows his Rega, so I can assume that he has an alt here already in hand. And probably um, also some pretty good trap lineup. So I should make sure that he has a called face down there. So let's see if I draw something good out of my upside column. Wow, that's pretty bad. Okay, so I now could decide to not run over um, Dinab to don't let him search anything. I will go for my play. He probably has Vega and Altair in hand. And won't start any plays uh, if those monsters aren't in the graveyard. So I'm just setting some traps to scare him of potential plays and pass back. Second Dennis. He is pretty good party time. Yes. I think he's going to win this game. Um as long as I don't draw anything soon. Second Vega. What's this guy is doing? Let's see. Um what he is Yeah. Okay. So. Oh. At least I plus down. Wow. Well, okay. This was an altar as I predicted. So let's see how he's going to proceed. Probably call back Vega. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay as well. No, exceed. I think it would be a good play to go for a die, uh, diamond die wolf right now. Okay. Let's see uh, what he's going to summon. Probably he's going for a Pleiades. Okay. Wow, so... Not the best top deck you can have, but let's see. Let's set this card and let's go for. Yeah, I have to mind crush it, the altar. Otherwise, I'm going to lose any. I have to. I have to hope for uh, that he does not have anything to call back this altar. This was pretty good, awesome, but still I cannot do anything right now. So I just have to hope that he does not have a call face down. It's like I'm pretty flooded with calls right now. So you also pr run through most of his resources right now. So if I manage to draw into a denip, I might be able to win this game. If I get, then don't get hit by the last effect of this guy. Skip your opponent's turn. Hmm. Misclick. What did you misclick? Okay. Okay, uh, just the end things.
Yeah. Accepted. Yes. Okay. Ba bam! There she goes. If I probably can get rid of his monster, but it's good as long he keeps those dinners set there. So maybe that's the reason why he didn't call back out here. Well, let's see. Two more turns until this guy gets his effect. Okay, you now summon Pleiades. And I think it's probably quite good if he attacks. You know, just go with me the opportunity. Yeah. Right now I'm in a pretty good position. He went through all of his resources. I just need to draw into a Denep. No, nope. maybe now. No Denep for me still. Okay. Now I can summon summon my Altair and sh reveal to him what I'm playing because I have this Telenova face down. And now I have to go into beta mode because he went for most of his resources. Seemingly, I'm not able to. Um, yeah. And this is now a pretty tough decision. Should I activate the Telenova Alpha or not? Probably no. Because I'm still in a card advantage. Just set some more cards. Hopefully, he doesn't top deck his last Altair. Yeah. Tough decision. Oh, this dude plays a pretty heavy Saturnite build with free Vega, obviously. Can I understand this? Vega is like the worst draw a card to draw in your opening hand. You don't want to start with Vega. But let's see, maybe he plays uh, the Saturnite bridge build. Come on, Dennis! Uh, Bigger than this. Okay, let's see. Down mode. Okay, this is now quite bad because Altair goes back to hand. He has the opportunity to chew, to revive anything, and I cannot stop him with the Terranova Alpha. I need. What do I need? I need Altair in hand. Yeah, that's the thing. Come on, dude. Just be scared. Just don't do anything. Ooh. Come on, to the Yurk. For those of you who don't know who uh, the Yurk is, the Yurk is just randomly activating something onto the back row of your opponent. Okay, he doesn't Yurk, he just oasis. Okay, okay. Come on, I just need one of my free Unox or free Denep or free Rhoda. Shouldn't beat that. much to ask for. Okay, yes, he goes into dinner play, probably searching altar 
and then he's going to kill me if he isn't bad so come on huh. Overly goes for the trigger play. As you see, uh, it was. Uh, uh, yes, that's okay. No finish chain, no breakthrough skill, just call of the hundreds. That's what you need in the mirror match. Probably Unukalhai because he went through his Vegas already. Yep. Just be bad, just be bad, just be bad. I wanted you to be bad. Okay. Okay. Probably doesn't fear Mirror Force, even though that's his, that, that's the second attack in the whole game yeah maybe he's going yeah that's that's game if he plays cowboy yeah. hopefully he doesn't because like he showed me that he has quite a few exceeds um, or he maxed out probably a lot of exceeds in order to go for this bottom a play yeah already some if I'm, yeah but this is cowboy time Yeah, that's a loss for me. Let's see. Whoa, so much top tech. Okay. Now I'm going to play with Eugen. I'm ready. Show me more. Show me more. Yeah, well. Now I can show him my army of the cores. Yeah, if I would have used the Telenova Alpha, I would have been able to stab his second altar player at well and summon this guy back from the grave. Um. Yeah, then I would have drawn into Deneb next turn. Probably I could have played some somehow, but yeah, I should have used Alpha on on um, the compuls in order to stay in the game. Yeah, this 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 the suggestion is not good because like I was I was ahead in. Um, in card advantage and I should not use my my best um, play for um, this time because like calls were obviously not a good option okay let's quit this game and now uh, Eugen let's see play against Eugen whoa 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 Let's let's assume Eugen is probably what kind of guy is Eugen? Eugen Eugen is lazy. He probably chooses paper. Ah, now it's going ahead. Ah, maybe he's going. Yeah, he's a lazy guy. Ah, fucker. Okay. So come on. Hopefully, yeah. He's going first. Is he sure? Okay, he lets me go first. At least he understood the concept of going first and second. <laughs> okay. Good luck, have fun. Shut up, bitch. Okay. So, this time I'm opening with a potential dinner play, so... Yes, stand up, yes, party. We're going for dinner. Yes, and the back row 
seems pretty strong as well against Necroth, which I assume Eugen is playing, so go for the net. Perfect. So depending on your back row against Necros, you, it's not uh, always the best option to start with a Denip search play because it gives you one card in the hand. Probably um, if I would not have drawn into Satella Nova Alpha, I would have set Denip and set everything to face down so that he cannot trish me. Um, but as I draw into as I drew into Satella Nova Alpha, I summoned Denip in face up attack position in order to be able to activate uh, Satella Nova Alpha's effect and create a destroy and draw something. So let's see. Um, with the second Phoenix Chain, with two Phoenix Chain and a call play, I'm pretty sure that this game can at least last longer than expected. You have to see, like, normally it's like you're not in a good position with Saturn Knights against a really good Necros player because you can simply apply your back row. Um, the only reason I decided to uh, play Satellite Knight is because I really love the deck and um, luckily there are not a lot of good, really good Necros players. So that one is okay. Probably um, you need to st I need to stop this play right now because I have the option to stop potential other plays. And I have no option to somehow get into a card advantage position. If I um, if I now finish chain this guy, he's pro and he has a unicorn. He probably is going for um, a cycle play. If he has a uh, book of eclipse, then it stops this guy from uh, stops him from using any rank four plays. So let's see. How he reacts to my finish chain. If I would have drawn into some f some removal cards, I would have not uh, uh, gone for this finish chain play, because it's, it's often quite bad to stop um, the small searches. There is a slight possibility that the uh, Necros is also going to brick if you stop the small ones, but it's always dependent on your back row, how you react to the small Jews. Okay, he's he's taking a bit longer. I assume he has something to either stop finish chain. Here, I think he would have used MST on it. Probably not. Yeah. Okay, that's why he thought about it. He, he could have st um, just uh, used the summon to outbait the finish chain and just use MST on another card. Um, in this scenario, I think he's pretty desperate to use the MST. But I cannot, I cannot um, just now go for the second negation cards to um, play around this guy. It's good that he wasted the MST now on this, in this way, because if I would have uh, waited with Phoenix Chain, and he then summon um, Nick uh, Tushula later, and I, um, yeah, bank all my um, outs on uh, stopping him with Phoenix Chain, and he could have simply MST Phoenix Chain, and I would have been naked. So let's see why this play was so important to him. Hmm. Okay, I think N Niaz is going to cut this sequence later. Judge! <laughs> oh, wow. Such skill. Wow. Searching Brian Nick. Yes.
Okay, if he's... Okay. Searching mirror. What can... What does this mean? Searching a mirror instead of cycle or kaleidoscope. Probably he stopped my finish chain play in order to... Okay, he has some in his hand. Okay. That's okay. He's probably going for a Volcure spray right now. With shoot, yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Cycle now is Trishula time. I think he's going to do it with a gin lock. No. Okay, Trishula. Not Conmigo, Contigo. Um. No. I'm pretty curious now. Okay, just begging out the attacks. I can take the damage. Pretty strange place from Oregon. I cannot understand why he went into a four back row. Either he assumed that I'm, that I'm pretty bad at Yu-Gi-Oh and just wasted my Fiend's chain. I think this my Phoenix chain should have revealed to him that I have at least two additional outs to his Trishuna, but hmm. So this is probably the book of the clips I was assuming in the beginning. So let's see. He now sees my altar play coming. Um He has two cycles in grave. I think I will go for Alter Effect. Thinking. Veiler in hand, bitch. If he Veilers now, I'm a pretty good I'm in a good, pretty good position because then I can call back Dinab. Run over the Jew. Get this one. Or just leave Brynick on the field. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I am in Britney, bitch. Okay. I search for Alpha Tier Alter here. It's only funny for Germans. So now I can. I should. I need to run over this guy because he's probably. Okay, if he has Pick of Eclipse, then he can use it next turn to search again. And he stops my Exceed play right now. So, the best. There's no Exceed I can summon right now, which helps me in this situation. With a probably. Um, with a probable Book of Eclipse face down. So, the reason I just should simply attack, then I can go and draw two cards with Book of Eclipse. If he has Book of Moon. Then I'm pretty fucked. So let's see. Um, yeah. Okay, this is me for my uh, 89 point ratio. Did I miss something or why were the points set back? I don't understand that.
Okay. Oh, you know, you know, you know. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, then I will go now. Go for a Rhapsody play. Because I have two calls to get back into the game. Where's the Rhapsody? There. Okay, now he's thinking again. Plus is so real. Plus four right now. No, plus three. Move the mirrors and his draw face. We are e even. So let's see. Okay, there's the book of eclipse I was predicting. That's okay. He's probably not going to like what is happening right now. Okay. I now need to bank everything on this Phoenix chain if he tries to finish uh to finish back his uh if he tries to bring back his Trishula. So end phase, I can draw a card. Okay. Let's see. Is he doing okay? <laughs> Could have simply used Brynix effect and shuffle back <laughs> this guy to the exit deck, but he's probably fearing. Ah, okay, that's why. Top deck Brynix. Unicorn. Now he's going for the Unicorn play, which is going to eat my Book of Moon. Yeah. Trishula. Motherfucker. This dry of nations since 1994. Okay. Do you even lift? Does he probably try? Oh yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Okay. Do you want to concede? Yes. Now it's getting interesting with the turn lock, okay. None of that. This game is probably over because I have Book of Moon face down. Wow. So much skill and face. So now we are going into side deck mode against um this motherfucking deck over there. I just forgot to put in my second dark hole for the third cast trap hole, but we need to prepare now for Denko Seka coming into the main deck, which is quite the fucker. So, um, we need to keep in Book of Moon. We just keep. Well, okay. I never sighted on Dueling Network so far. <laughs> My bad. Okay. He's going to let us go first. Um, so, we need to keep consistency. 
we need to keep removal in the breakthrough scale like but probably we're just going for the free app stats I'm just testing right now these cast holes. And I will go first, no matter what they say. Okay. Well, there's Dennis. <laughs> there's too many cast trapples. So this is uh, what I was fearing right now. I need. I cannot set then again because he has. I then would have still an altar in hand. Um, all I can do is just hope because I did not draw any um, card to stop Trishula from coming out effect. So I don't think that he said in my quest so I can search for the second altar. I don't have anything to call back so I won't search for Uno Kalhai for the Trevor 2 altar in hand combo in the end. So let's see what the Yes, sir. Please, please, please give him a brick hand. But I don't think that he bricked, otherwise he would have summoned anything. Uh, okay, I normally I would have would use the car strap in this now, but I don't have anything in the grave, so I'm pretty safe from Toshula right now. Still, I'm, a, I'm in a pretty awkward situation because I cannot activate anything. My Danab is not. If Danab dies this turn, I'm going to lose. Yep, this is pretty much game, I think. I now need to bluff Oregon into thinking that my back row is super good. Unicorn. And. We are not a Kaleido. Okay, now I'll try to bluff him into mind crush, but he's so eager to go for that play. Okay, I now need to bluff him still and I have a mind crush so that he does not go for Trishula. All I I don't need to see a uh, Trishula. I don't want to see that fucker. Okay. Okay. There she go. Okay, probably. Okay. I should have used the cast trapple on the small guy. Just hoping that he does not go into um, anything else. Problem is that I know that the east side in um, he does not side decree, but he side cycles. And if I if I would have now shown one of my back row, he could have simply destroyed both um, of my other back rows if he has like MST or cyclone. And the odds that this is um, that these cards are in his hands are quite high because he opened with six. So now, fucker, please proceed. Oh, 
Oh, the danger brain egg. What the fuck? Oh no, is something happening? I don't want to. I need to let Denep die. Either, even though I could use my prison. Because otherwise I'm just getting trished. Ah, but I can, I can, um, yeah, I not need to let that one die. I just, I have now the option to let him die um, in order to make my altars live. Next option would be um, to use prison and make him believe that I have a Saturn of Alpha face down because there's no other reason for me to not having such a card. Uh, to using prison right now on on Unicore if I w would have the opportunity to just let Danup die so I'm going for the prison play even though it's kind of bad to use prison in this situation because it's now a one to one trade and he's ahead and card advantage just hope hope that he reads the Saturn over Alpha But as we saw Aryan playing in the first game, he's not afraid of back rows, which probably led to him losing game one. Probably setting up everything for the next turn or not. What the f Come on, no Trishula, please, 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 no Trishula. Trishula is coming. Nah, super lucky. <laughs> no, maybe no, it's Trishula coming. He's going. If he has Trishula, then yeah, there's yeah. Okay. He's now probably going for a die wolf play or a, a castle if he thinks that I have a turn of alpha face down. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Hopefully, light dark ones. Okay. There is the diamond die wolf play. Yep. It's okay. Cyclone, MST, or I am in the game. Stay in the game if he does not banish then up. Okay, fucker. Hmm.
shit, stay alive. Okay, let's get it. Let's see, okay. I will let him start, so... Um, these cards won't be necessary. Okay, I have a pretty good opening hand with um, double Denup and some traps to save me from a potential Trishula play. So, um, I need to run over this small fucker in order to not get outed by a potential rank 4 play. So. Eugen, are you alive? Yes, probably. Yes and all. Okay, just Eugen. Shooter, come on, give it to me. A pretty good thing is that I have some warning to stop uh, Denko's Sekker. What the fuck, dude, are you doing? Stop wanking. I love that sound. 
Honest? Go on, show me you're honest. <laughs> I love this red arrow. Bam, 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 bam. Dennis is freaking out. Dennis. So tell I like Dennis. Dead obvious play. Woo. Okay. I have to accept that. Now setting the fourth card to troll. So that's why I set everything before. So. To just to confuse him. Um, so. I can activate. I could activate Dark Hole right now. But probably that's not a good decision. So let's see. There's the tank of bitch. And everybody say, Ayo. I always think that this looks like a, the best party bro ever. Sort of warning guy with his bitches. Negating this bitch. I would need now the wine with this with the black people in the background saying whoa but I haven't it no I think uh, Eugen is crying right now can you see it? His, his his tears Dango Saka is such a bitch I think this card uh, deserves a well um, it's like at least semi -limited, a semi limited spot on the band, band list because uh, it's not healthy for the game. I think back row get decks aren't either, but I think it's easier to play around the back row if you're good than just using Deco Seca. Okay, there's the Brynek. It's like, where are my main crushes? Just two ways to stop the shooter. I know. Prep the motherfucking prep. Okay. I accept your opinion. I don't like how Oigen plays. I think it's fair too obvious for a Saturn Knight player to activate his back row correctly. Oh, what the fuck, now he hits Dark Hall. Now I need to think. But no, I need to need. I could negate that one, but then I would probably die. Because I only have 6,005 points left, okay. Do you even know Saturn number? Yeah. 
Yep. No, this game's over. This is now quite a difficult decision to make. I need to get rid of this Valkyrus. top deck probably um there's not much maybe a it and then you can search for psycho maybe um Vega? I'm playing Vega he I'm thinking about what what That's he could one. potentially <laughs> top deck so um I'm now getting rid of his workers with with um arc but the thing is um i could uh think of leaving his jew on the field or killing it so uh, he could potentially yeah no i should leave it on the field so then otherwise i will be uh, i will be dying i'm summoning This guy as well in defense position. Because um, otherwise he could crash his Jew into my... Um, um, into my arc and then go on with the circle cycle place. So, Jude. No top decks for you, please. And he could also have, could have gone for a silent honor arc play. What did you top deck for? Nothing, of course. Next turn, bro. This game is over, bro. Okay, maybe he has drawn into Maxi. This would this would change the course of the game, because then he could go for Maxi. Come on, no Maxi. What the fuck, this fucker! <laughs> the last top take. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Why are you doing this, fucker? Okay, now this Maxi is pretty good for him because it allows him to get back into this game. Arrgh. If he now <laughs> draws into Vela as well, I'm killing him. So. Because I wanted to go for a Rhapsody play to get rid of his. Uh, to get rid of his cards. But. Now I need to change the way I play. I still can't. Yeah, he's going to crash his Jew anyway. I can stop it with Fiend's Chain. Ah, that's a plan. That's a good way. 
I can stop his duo with the finish chain from crashing and then can go into go can go into trivial. Yeah that that's what I'm going to do. He's such a top decker, it's not so. This Maxi was probably the best card he could have drawn into. Now I guess he's has drawn a second Jew. I could have gone for the Rhapsody play, but uh, Vayler would have stopped me immediately. And... What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck. What the fuck? Was hey Denko? Ja. Ah, ist doch lächerlich. Ist doch so lächerlich. Du wolltest sie und das ist doch so lächerlich. Ja, machst du ihn jetzt oder nicht? Ja. Shouldn't have used this breakfast gear, should have let my cards die. No, ah, let's no. Call me Mr. Vega, call me Mr. Raw. This is so ridiculous. <laughs>
<lacht> das ist wirklich <lacht> Living Legend, Alter. Eugene is living the dream of Yugi Muto. Come on, I can. It's not. No way you can think of anything when you do it on right now. You don't have prep. Yeah, motherfucker. Good game. Okay, so guys, this was my first Let's Play with Satellite Knights. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I just been on top deck mode Eugen. And now I'm uh, leaving for today. Thank you very much for and make sure to come back, subscribe to our, our channel, and like our uh, Facebook page for new Yu Gi Oh! information. Thanks.